Welcome everyone. We're looking at the battle in Judges chapter 4 and 5. Um, again, you know, a very, very interesting incident uh, that took place is the song with which you know, Deborah broke out right after the battle. Now, that would be uh, probably the last thing that you expect from her. But um, she's a prophetess. She uh, instructed the chief commander at that time. But she also turned into uh, something like a songwriter and uh, she began to sing. So we read Judges chapter 5, uh, which is really a poem uh, and a song of Deborah. And in that song, you know, she praises God. I want to read for us verse 3, Judges 5 and 3. Hear, O kings, give ear, O princes. I, even I, will sing to the Lord. I will sing praise to the Lord God of Israel. No praise. People at that time knew the value of praise. Praise is a verbal expression of our adoration, our thanksgiving, our rejoicing, you know, uh, or rejoicing in who God is. And praise is usually exuberant. Uh, in other words, you know, we uh, are we are able to express not just with our body, with the words that we are speaking, but there is a sense um, of joy in our soul and our spirit rejoices. So praise engages, praise involves our spirit, soul and body. And it's really a wonderful expression of our faith in God. Now, praise is also an acknowledgement of God's greatness and God's goodness. Now, we've seen that in this battle, people uh, strived, they worked hard, they didn't give up. And yet, you know, they said that it was really God who subdued the enemy. And so, when they sang praises, you notice Deborah is giving God the glory. His greatness and His goodness is what she sings about. So, we too can praise God, we can honor God. And now, here's the thing. Um, Praise must be proportional to the greatness of God. Now, think about this, you know, how great God is. And um, if uh, we begin to praise Him, uh, maybe with a couple of songs and, you know, some music or something else that, that we do for God, uh, we can never really match up to His greatness. And that's why we have all these hymns. Um, that have been written where people say that if you use up all the ink, uh, the, the waters in the ocean as ink, you would still not be able to describe the greatness of God. If we had a thousand tongues, we would still not be able to give God the praise, the honor and the glory that He deserves. And so, there's really so much scope for us to keep praising God because He is that great. And we are encouraged, we are encouraged. Now, this is a spiritual act of worship. Um, a praise is an act of the will. You know, we can't push someone to praise from their hearts, but it comes out of a person's decision or in other words, it is a choice. Praise is a choice uh, and it is a fruit of our lips. It is a spiritual sacrifice for us who are on the other side of the cross. And so you know, what a privilege we have to praise God, the things that God has done. In this case, yes, they won a battle and they were praising God for that. Uh, but in our lives, you know, there is so much the Lord has done. Maybe we have experienced His wisdom. We've experienced uh, His blessing. We've, it, we could have gone through a rough patch, but even in the midst of that, we've experienced His peace. Shalom, shalom. His perfect peace. Um, uh, the joy of the Lord. So many things that uh, are really released to us because God is our God. So, can we take a moment, um, friends, and uh, just exalt and magnify the Lord because He's worthy of it. Let's, let's um, pray together. Heavenly Father, we pray that, Lord, You will make us people who praise because people who praise are people of victory. God, uh, let Your praise always be on our lips. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.